Hey folks, we got some needle palms here. Uh, here are some, uh, some natives to very near here in uh, South Carolina. And uh, they're native to the uh, western uh, portion of the state. Um, but look at look at these nice big trunks. Um, not quite as big as the one at the uh, U.S. Uh, National Arboretum in D.C. But uh, yeah, I'm right next to, uh, I just took a video of these camera ops here and they're incredible. They're really incredible. They removed some of the suckers, which is unfortunate. I love when they have multiple trunks. And there are two uh, little windmills there, but uh, yeah, nice palmetto and uh, beautiful camera ops. So uh, stay tuned for more videos. And uh, by the way, I'm at this plaza here and uh, you can see these gorgeous, 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 gorgeous Columbia stable palmetto because they're all over the city and they are gorgeous. And they've, look, they've removed the boots. The boots are these like little lattice. It's a lattice effect formed by these, uh, when they clip off the uh, dead leaf stalks. Uh, it for, usually forms a lattice all the way down uh, the trunk, but they've removed a lot, a lot of them, which is standard to remove most or all of them. And uh, they do this on Canary Island date palms too, where they remove the leaf bases up till like almost the top where it forms that little, uh, I, I don't know what it is, like a crown shaft type, um, just leaving a little bit of the lattice on. It's like a very classy look to the sable palmetto. So I'm here in this beautiful plaza with uh, these beautiful sable palmetto. I'm, I'm so happy to be here. Just so happy to be uh, seeing these palmetto uh, right with the setting sun here. It's really gorgeous. And uh, yeah, like I said, we've got these massive needle palms here. Absolutely massive. And there's another one over there with uh, nice big leaves. So uh, thanks for watching and stay tuned for more videos here in Columbia. Take care.